there it is. Look. Oh, I love that it both the UV light, look, even the white one has a cool glow to it. Hey guys, Megan here. Thank you for joining me. Just a reminder, I have split up the Beige House into three different channels and this is my crafting channel. So thank you so much for joining me today. We're gonna be making these awesome zombie lady pendants. I really love them. I have, they think they have a really cool like Victorian sort of spookiness to them and one of them is going to glow in the dark so i'm really excited about it but let's get to it here i am mixing my two-part epoxy and honestly you don't really need a lot for these i did three that come in the mold i think i used like 100 milliliters maybe all in all this is actually me mixing for multiple projects so that's why this is a pretty big measuring cup so i am going to be using black alcohol ink and a little bit of black mica shimmer to just kind of give it some texture. So this is the mold I got and it's right off AliExpress. I think I paid like, I don't know, under a dollar for it. I'll leave a link in the description for you if you want to try it too. And I'm just going to do a really slow pour to make sure that I don't get any air bubbles trapped in here. These molds are usually pretty good for that since they're pretty shallow, but you know, better safe than sorry, doing a slow pour. I'm just going to give them a little tap and then hit it with my torch and let it set over for 24 hours. Okay, I'm back. Here we are. It's time to demold this. And if this works the way that I want it to, these are going to be super awesome. So here you see the close up and there's tons of detail on here. Honestly, I could have probably dusted the mold with mica and saved myself a step of painting, but based on what I wanna do with this, I think that this is just, these are the perfect base for what I wanna do. And I did a little bit of an over pour, so I'm just going to sand down these edges really quick on a couple of them. I'll start with 100 grit and then go up to 320. You don't have to do this, it's optional. I, like I said, I just like to make sure that everything is kind of even and that there's no lip for when I'm ready to finish this and put these on the couch on. I'm just gonna clean the dust off this one really quick. Okay, now it's time for painting. I'm gonna be doing white acrylic paint for one. And so let me show you up close. I'm using a short brush to do this because I really wanna kind of get all of these little details. And I also wanna make this a little bit messy, which sounds kind of weird to say, but I wanna give it sort of an old, worn, antiqued look where the colors wouldn't be quite so bold and crisp. I wanna kind of give it a worn down look. I feel like that's really, these remind me a lot of like something you'd find at um, the Haunted Mansion in the Disney. I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit with my cuticle pusher. Now this one, this is gonna be my exciting one. This is going to be with glow in the dark paint. And if you look at this, it's not a very thick paint, right? Like a lot of the detail really comes through and this would probably require a couple of coats of this paint if I really wanted something really thick. But like I said, I want the detail to come out and I want these to kind of look old and worn. So one coat for me for this situation is totally fine. And last, I'm gonna do one in gold because I think that that would be a really cool look to this kind of, a, you know, like a Gilded Age <laughs> spookiness. Now the paint is dried, so I'm going to finish these off with a little bit of UV resin, and I'm just gonna honestly put them on the back of the mold 
because I know that the UV resin won't stick to it and it'll give me a workspace that obviously can fit these pendants. Throw them under the UV light. Okay, let's take a look and see what these look like. And <laughs> I realize I did not give you a good freeze frame for this. I'm sorry, but you can kind of see the detail on this. And now let's charge, I guess, the glow in the dark one and see how it works. <gasps> there it is! Look! I love that it, both the UV light, look, even the white one has a cool glow to it. But the glow in the dark one glows in the dark and re reacts to UV light. How cool is that? Oh. Okay, now it's time to finish them and you could drill through them and just have them as a pendant, but I like to put them on these kind of cabochons. Is that the right word for them? I don't know. And all I do for these is just put a little dab of Gorilla Glue. I don't put a lot on there because I don't want it to bleed out. And set this into place. I love Gorilla Glue because it'll dry really fast, but still gives me a little bit of time to wiggle, wiggle them around. for watching. I'll see you in the next video.